Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the brand new Tesla Model Y Juniper 2025 model with enhanced autopilot, basically full self-driving. And I wanna show you in Europe how you can park the car and how the full self-parking system work. And come with me in the car and let's see it together. So now let's pretend we are going to the parking lot and we have to park the car. So first of all, we are in driving right now. Also, you can extend that and immediately you can see immediately when you come close to a parking lot like it is here on the left side, you can see on the screen it shows you all the parking lot and you can pick one. You can choose whatever parking lot the car have seen on the on this system, right? So look how cool it is. And then while we are driving, we are driving along. Let's see, I don't want to park around here. I want to go on the side and then we go left and we go on this street and then how, as we go on the street, the car start to see other parking lots, right? So for example, here on the, on the, on the right side, you see, we have two parking lots and also those cone. And for example, I want to park here, right? So you press the park, and then you press start and immediately the car will start parking because we have the new Juniper with the front camera. It shows you also the front camera with lane assist. So these lines assist, which are very useful. And it shows you so cool where the car will, will go to park, right? So look how cool it is. And it works also very fast and it's very clear. It shows you all the cameras, shows you exactly where you want to go. And um, as I tested it, I saw that it works really, really good. So. I really trust it. I mean, it's one of the best self-parking. Again, press the brake. Now the car knows already that we drive forward, so you don't have to switch it to forward driving. And let's try to park one more time in other parking lots, right? So we go around the parking lot. Again, it's mapping, mapping the, the parkings around here. So you can see here, it's a little bit more complex, more complicated, but still, if we wanna park next to this car, for example, close to that car, just press uh, start and then the car it's beginning to park what I like very much is the fact that it's moving pretty quick I mean it's not slow like in other parking system and it seems to to think pretty well I mean it's look at surroundings and it's it start parking and you can also definitely check in the mirrors but check in the cameras and you can see we have a in the back there we have that wow look at look how close he parked from this uh, this area in the back there we have this look at this it's so close it's so good i mean it's really really good now again let's try it again let's try to drive now what i test a little bit earlier a super super complicated parking lot uh, where the car cannot park for example right here in this area we have the uh, the cars we have these two parking lots but if you want to park in reverse in this area right it's crazy i mean it's even for me i mean it's super complicated you have to make too many too many uh, moves in order to park there and i'm not even sure if i can manage to park there because it's kind of complicated because of this car right here and then that car right there so it's crazy complicated what i want to try it's just to leave autopilot to see how how we're gonna think to park in, in, in this area and drive forward. And you, you, let's say I wanna park exactly here or probably right here close to this yard. It's a little bit more kind of complex where, where we should park here or there. I don't know. Let's, let's try one, let's drive close to this car. And then you press start, right? And what I noticed a little bit earlier, didn't manage to park here, but it's thinking, it looking, it's, it's looking at surroundings. It's trying to make some moves, but at some point, it's kind of, it's kind of blocked. So it's not like a completely AI thinking machine. Probably in the future will be an AI thinking machine and we will think that you have to go back and then have to go with backwards and stuff like that. But you still hear it still try and I press the brake because it's still thinking and thinking and didn't find a, a, a place. So you have to give him, uh, yeah, a normal parking lots, right? So not complex. Probably in the future when they combine with AI, thinking machine then the AI will know okay if I want to park there I have to go first in the back I have to come with the back and stuff like that you know but usually most of the simple parking lots where you choose for example let's choose um, I don't know this one around here again uh, where is this this is in the back so if you press and choose one simple parking lot the car is doing a phenomenal job so yeah 
as long as you give him a normal, simple to understand parking lot, the car will do a, a great, great job and it, it's going to park without any problem. But when you try to, to give him some complex, complicated things that you have to go back and then turn around the car and stuff like that, it, it's, it's not ready yet, but I'm sure it will be ready. I'm sure we'll start to think in the future like an AI and will be able to, to park itself. Now, let's try another parking lot. Let's go again. Let's try, I don't know, maybe not here because it's not a parking lot, but even if you park here again, let's extend it. And if you want to park here again, we try one more time, but maybe, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe let's go here. Let's go here and let's try around here. You see between those cars, this is complex. This is complicated here. Let's see if it sees this place, right? sees this place this is kind of complex i'm a little bit scared i think someone come from behind mm, let me go a little bit forward until that car will pass so i let him pass and then we go back and then we go back in reverse and you can see already the car knows that there were some parking lots it didn't see anymore the, the, the parking lot that i want to park so i have to go in reverse a little bit first and then and then and then and then and then and then let's see if now can see that car this is not the place where i want to go exactly there there it's easy if i put it here it's easy yeah let me try here there are these guys here it's it's crazy easy i mean it will park without any problem in this, in, in this area so you see so the cars go around and it's managed to do a very good job. And it's doing in a proper manner. I mean, it's just perfectly parked, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, this is the system. I mean, it's, it's one of the best self parking system out there on the market. And it start to think like a proper, proper uh, AI. And I can't wait to see in the future when the car will think uh, itself and it said like, I have to go back and stuff like that. But really good self parking system so guys i hope the video was useful i hope you get some information of what to expect if you get this full self-driving uh pilot i think it's extremely useful at least for people that are not safe or they are not sure when they want to park and they want to park fast i think it's a great great system i hope the video was useful don't forget to like share subscribe thank you for watching and i see you soon in the next one bye guys